Hey, so here I am in LAX in Los Angeles. Um, I'm about to take a flight up to Seattle. Um, I'm going to stay with my friend Andrew for three weeks and I'm super excited to see him. I haven't seen him for a couple of years now. Um, so that's going to be really great. Uh, this is the last leg of the US trip. So after this we stretch our legs in another country in another part of the world, which is also really exciting. But first, um, Seattle and I want to give that everything it deserves too. So. Um, yeah, come with me and let's go and see how that is. Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog and welcome to Washington State. I'm in this beautiful little town called Gig Harbor. Um, it's surrounded by water and mountains and forests and all this beautiful stuff. Um, it's around a 45 minute drive southwest from Seattle. Um, I'm staying with my friend Andrew in his gorgeous house up here. Andrew and I have been friends for a good few years. Uh, we met while we were both traveling, um, actually in Luxembourg in Europe. Andrew was traveling around Europe for a few months and I was over there for a long weekend. We both stayed in the same hostel and uh, yeah, just became friends ever since. And he came and hung out in England for a couple of weeks and we did some adventuring around Norway. So that was a ton of fun. Also in the next few weeks, I have some things I personally want to get done. I want to get a bit fitter and a bit healthier. Um, after like a month in California, you kind of drive everywhere because it's so big and it's so hot. So I kind of felt a bit static. So I feel like I want to do a bit more running and a bit more cycling and yeah, a bit more outdoor stuff to try and get a bit fitter and healthier. Um, I'm writing the book Four Sides of a Coin, which also goes with the film. Uh, you can read about that more in the link in the description below. So I want to catch up on a lot of writing. Um, and also, this is like the last part of my American journey. This is the last state and the last place I'm really going to be staying out here. So after this, I'm flying to the other side of the world. So I want to do a lot of kind of trip planning and uh, work out where I'm going to stay, book some accommodations and work out some infrastructure of some local buses and whatever uh, and all that stuff. So it's going to be a pretty busy and fun um, two or three weeks. But meanwhile, let's go for a little walk around Gig Harbor and I'll introduce you to Andrew. So yeah, enjoy the vlog and I'll speak soon. We met in uh, Luxembourg when uh, you were getting accosted by a weird, weird German, German guy that you thought was trying to have a molest you in the in the for, uh, the forest <laughs> paths of Luxembourg City in a, in a hostel there, and you came up and talked to me. Yeah, I, I kind of just went up to you, started saying hello, and telling you about this strange German guy following me, and then we ended up being in the same hostel room by chance, right? Yeah, this is quite funny. Right, with the with the Kevin Robert Martin, and then we had the. We had a Portuguese taxi driver that was in his 40s in our room and a <laughs> French gorilla guy that <laughs> was loud and naked and... and uh, loud and naked? You say was. Yeah, I don't remember if we had anyone else. It was, it was a good room though. <laughs> if I could, if I, if all my hostel rooms were like that, I'd go stay in hostels any day. It's the people that are not that interesting that I, you know, make me not want to stay at hostels. But that was a pretty good... Uh, even though it was kind of weird, I would go stay there again because you don't get you don't get that kind of cast of characters in uh, in every hostel, man. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Hey guys, so I did promise that I would uh, get a bit healthier in these last three weeks, get a bit fitter, do a bit more exercise. So I'm gonna go on my first run to kind of kickstart that and get the ball rolling. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, I started off the day as you saw with a nice run. Um, there's a few more hills around here than I guess I could have uh, hoped for. Um, and my friend Andrew has set me up this beautiful little uh, desk space up on his balcony at the back of his house. The views out here are just beautiful, so a super privileged and gorgeous place to work from. Um, I'm gonna just catch up on some riding. I'm gonna show you really quickly a little bit just around here of roughly where I'm working from and the view so you can get an idea. So would you say this is kind of like the old town part of Gig Harbor? Yeah, it, uh, something like that. I don't know Gig Harbor very well. I've been here five months. I live a block up the road from the, the downtown area, but 
Um, yeah, I guess it's kind of the down, the old town part of it, as old as you can get here in the, with the marina. And uh, it's like a Scandinavian, a lot of Scandinavian people settled here because there's the Puget Sounds, uh, just a lot of fjords coming off the ocean. And uh, so I think it probably reminded them of home. So most of the people that are born and raised here have Scandinavian roots and it's got a lot of fishing like Scandinavian town. So it's, um, yeah, it's kind of like how, how I like to think about it. Hi guys, so I'm just here with Andrew on a kind of golden hour walk around this little uh, nature park called Defiance Point. Um, so it's part of like the waterways which really like snake around this entire area of the Pacific Northwest. So um, I'm gonna go and catch up with Andrew and we'll go and see what we can find. So all of this water buddy, this is all Puget Sound. Yeah it is. It's so good. tell me a little bit about that and where we are. Uh, I mean it cuts in from uh, the Pacific Ocean through the Strait of Juan de Fuca and then uh, it's just basically a big uh, just body of water with lots of fjords that cut in inland and this is uh, with many islands and this is just one peninsula on the uh, on the Puget Sound that's Fashion Island it's a little farming arts community local to Seattle, so a lot of wealthy Seattle people commute from there, and then you've got a bunch of farmers there too. But, uh, so that it cuts in and, in and out between all these different peninsulas. You'd have to see a map, it's quite extensive. Have some blackberries. Some blackberries, are they safe to eat? Oh yeah. You don't eat one? Not pollution, but it's pollution. you're breathing in the same stuff, That's I very promise. True. <laughs> what one do you have, a black one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a red one. Yeah, black one. You might be able to reach a little taller. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe go. Oh, here you go. Oh, there you go. These are good. These ones? I can't reach right. them though. You can be filmer. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Uh, yeah, be yeah. careful. These guys? Do you want one? No, I'm good, man. You good? You're not going to have one? So I, I just had some. So what oh. if I die when I eat this? Is this what you don't want? One, I've got to test it out. What? I've got to test it, and then if I feel sick, you're going to have one? I already ate one. I didn't see you. <laughs> Hmm, this is a sea lion. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, see, oh there it is. So we've got ourselves a little sea lion going on right there. Having a little kind of sunset swim. Hi guys, so today's pretty exciting. Uh, Andrew, myself, and Andrew's friend Lee, who I'm gonna meet shortly. Um, we're all gonna do like a 14 mile walk today. Whereabouts are we gonna go today? What's the kind of uh, walk us through? The western side of Tacoma, it's on the other side of the Puget Sound, so it just goes over kind of a narrow, it's called the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, and uh, goes over a narrow part of the, like a straight over the sound. All right guys, so here we are, right next to the freeway. Uh, on my right we have Lee. Say hello Lee. Hello. And uh, good old Andrew here. Hello. Steady as ever. And this is the noisier part of the hike, uh, next to the freeway. This bridge used to be called Galloping Gertie. So like, uh, have you ever seen videos of like a bridge swaying like this? Mm -hmm. Like on, uh, from the olden days? That was this bridge. Wow. Hi guys, so today we have adventure time. Um, I've planned myself one little mission for today, which is to go down to the old town in Gig Harbor 
from Gig Harbour, you can walk all the way around the harbour to the other side of it. It's got like a, it kind of ends here in Gig Harbour. It's like a U-shaped horseshoe type bend. So all the water comes in from the Puget Sound, which is the, the gathering of water from the Pacific Ocean, comes in through the Puget Sound around the Washington State and Seattle area, and then comes into Gig Harbour, and Gig Harbour kind of ends. So you can walk down to the Old Town, and then walk all the way around the harbour to the other side, to these like tree-lined hills, which are super beautiful. And from there, you can kind of cut down to the harbour entrance, on the other side where there's this like little lighthouse and it's so cute it's like it's like this big it's tiny um, and so that's my mission today so I'm gonna walk around all the harbor get to the lighthouse and come back Historic Paul's Bow. Andrew has taken me to this uh, cute little quaint little town for a little walk around. She's got like a bunch of um, kind of old fashioned looking buildings as you can see. Have you been here before, right? Many, yeah, lots. Yeah? Yeah, it's a, one of my favorite favorite towns around here. Oh. It's like a nice little day trip for like the local people and. Yeah, and people that, a lot of people that go up. Uh, the Olympic National Park would stop would stop through here. Yeah. Uh, Stuff, right? What's That's the? So you live in this town? Yes, I do. What is the best thing about living in historic Poolsbury? Um, probably this bakery. This yeah. bakery? Yeah. Besides that, there's not much here. How are we getting on with this uh, cake, Andrew? You're doing good, man. Hi guys, okay, so that's the end of this week's vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and get the next one up a little bit quicker than this one. I've just been kind of super busy with the stuff um, up here in the Pacific Northwest. But um, if you like this vlog, um, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Have a great week. And as they say in the Pacific Northwest, au revoir. So, so I'm uh, in a restaurant, pretty nice place, you know, having breakfast with my, my mates and uh, we, uh, we're sitting there and a guy, he throws eggs, milk and um, yogurt at me and you know, I, I stand up and I'm, I'm kind of mad and I go, how dare he, you know, how dare he, how dare he. Yeah.